know the impact COVID has had on sport, with clubs struggling to cope, especially financially, in the midst of the pandemic. But now Dulwich Hamlet Football Club is facing another upset, a fine of £8,000 and a suspended eight-point deduction for failing to fulfil fixtures. So what will this mean for a club that's already under pressure? Natalia Hoquera spoke to them. On a day like this, we'd expect two and a half to three thousand people here. We're the hub of the community, and that community has been unable to gather. That means we haven't had any income. After a season like no other, the financial impact of coronavirus has hit Dulwich Hamlet FC hard. But the club has had another blow. Because the team were unable to play four games, they've been fined £8,000 by the National League. And their chairman, Ben Clasper, feels like they've been thrown under a bus. I was staggered that they went ahead with the fines. Uh, if there is a phrase in the clause in which all clubs are charged, which is if you cannot play through just cause, then you don't get a charge. If a pandemic, when clubs cannot have any income for a year, is not just cause, then what is that clause there for? Ben worries that if they have to pay the fine, they'll have to use funds from the women's team to pay for it. The impact that these people are having on grassroots football and the women's game in particular could be devastating. In a statement, the National League said it was sympathetic because of the financial pressures clubs were already under, but when issuing fines said it had to take into account the fact that the majority of clubs at the time were able to fulfil their fixtures. Dulwich Hamlet FC were not the only club to be penalised. They're among 15 others across the three divisions who've been fined for breaching league rules. However, Ben Clasper said the club doesn't want to appeal the fine. They are planning to go to the FA to complain that the National League and the board are not fit for purpose and will call for the current system to be changed. Natalia Horquera, ITV News.